Hey everyone, Tech Steve here, and on today's video, we're gonna take a look at the Florence AI41. Now, I don't know if you guys remember, about five years ago at the time of this video, they came out with a speaker called the AI70, and these speakers really shook the internet due to their unique design and their sound quality. Now, let me tell you a little bit about Florence. They're a Canadian-based company. They started in 1999, and what made them unique is that they designed and built their own turntable to get exact sound quality. So with that being said, they're an audio company and for the most part, they don't make anything else. So what that means to me is that their research and their development is built to give you the best sound quality possible. So in this video, we're going to take a listen to it. I'm going to tell you guys about all the specs and show you guys some options that you can do with these speakers. So sit back and relax. Let's get started. Here we have the AI41 bookshelf speakers from Florence. On the front of the speaker, you're gonna find a one inch Neo Diamond tweeter with ferro fluid cooling so you can play it at loud volumes and still get crisp sound. There's also a rigid five inch woofer on the bottom that's built out of fiberglass and with the rubberized surrounding, it's gonna be able to handle any type of bass response that you put through the speaker. Now let's take a look at the main speaker. First of all, at the bottom of it, there's an IR sensor so you can point the remote control right there to access all the different settings of the speaker. Now over here, you have a volume control. However, if you punch it in, you can get multi-functions. As you can see, the colors right there change on the light. And here's a list of all the different colors of the LED. As you can see, blue is for Bluetooth, green is for RCA input, white is for optical, and red is for standby. On the back of the speaker, you're gonna find a tune port for bass response. So taking a closer look, you have a Bluetooth reset button. You have a fiber optic input for running over to your television set or audio system. You also have a RCA input so you can hook it up to a computer or anything that has a headphone output. And if you like more bass than what these can produce, it even has a subwoofer output. And if you have $200 to spare, you can get this DB10 so that'll be a perfect match for these speakers. The second speaker is passive, so it does have a output that has speaker wires, so you can extend it as long as you want. There's a standard input for power, and you can see that it's rated from 100 volts up to 240 volts, and it's compatible with 50 hertz and 60 hertz electricity, so that means that these are international. Addition to that, you have your power off and on. And here's a connection on the second passive speaker. Today I'm showing you guys the white bamboo, but they're also available in white walnut, black ash, and you can get them in black walnut. After getting these out of the box and taking a closer look at them, I really like the construction of them. In fact, wood makes better sound than plastic in most cases, but take a listen. It's pretty solid. Now on the back of it, you're gonna get a 45 watt times two amplifier that has plenty of power. And if you're looking for a frequency response, these are 35 Hertz all the way to 20,000 kilohertz. So you can see you're losing a little bit of the lower end bass. So that's where the subwoofer will come in. Also it's Bluetooth 5.0. And with the tuned bass port on the back of it and the built-in DSP, I can't wait to listen to these because I have a feeling that they're gonna sound good. The speakers also come with all the instruction books and everything you need to get up and running right away. In the box, you're gonna get a quick start guide, a power cable, a speaker wire. Now here's the thing about this remote control. On the top of it, you have your power button as well as the speaker mute button. And if you hook it up to Bluetooth, you can change the volume as well as change the tracks, play and pause your music. Over here, you have your source button to select through all the inputs on the back. This is a dimmer switch so you can dim the front LED light and you have your bass and treble controls. Now, one thing I like to see in the future is that they add a subwoofer control so you can control the external port. To get them ready to go, all you need to do is go ahead and plug in your speaker wire and go ahead and power them up. Now we're gonna do some audio demos using Bluetooth and I'm gonna be using this iPhone XR. So uh, let me show you how easy it is to connect your smartphone to this speaker. To put in parent mode, just go and tap it and you can see that the light is blinking blue. Then press the Florence AI41 on the screen. Once connected, you'll see it right there and now we can start demoing it. Dream. 
like I'm hiding the truth from the daylight. Hey, hey, it's a game that I play. Erase you when I wake up. Forget about the break. Earlier, when I was doing the sound test on these speakers to listen to how well they sound on Bluetooth, I was able to crank them up beyond what the microphone could pick up. And I'm going to tell you that these speakers sound crystal clear. And if you want a better idea how they sound, put some headphones on, crank your volume up and listen to the details, even off of recordings. So live, they're even better. Now, another thing when you're using Bluetooth, you can get a problem called lip syncing. And what that is, is that you'll watch a video and then the audio comes after it. So it's kind of chasing to get the best sound. And a lot of times that can drive you nuts. So now I'm going to do a lip syncing test to see uh, if these have any issues. Using Windows 11 and Bluetooth, I didn't have any issues with the audio syncing with the picture. And I'm standing in front of Fry's Electronics here in San Diego. And you can see right now that they are out of business. I will tell you, if you're having lip syncing problems on your videos, then not every device is gonna be as good as a laptop. So unfortunately, unless your TV or device has a way that you can synchronize the voice by changing the delay, it's not really much you can do. But now let me show you guys how to hook it up using analog cables. And with this connection, just take some RCA cables, go and plug them right into the back of the speaker. And then you can plug the other side into a computer, Alexa unit, or anything that has a headphone output. And with the last connection, you use a fiber optic. Make sure you move all the caps off your fiber optic and then plug it into the back of the speaker until it clicks into place. Then take the other side of it and run it to the back of a television set like this one right here. Or you can even run it into the back of a CD player or DVD player that has a fiber optic output for music. So here's my final thoughts about these speakers. If you're looking for something to really enhance your audio system and you have the space for a larger speaker like this, then I definitely think you guys can get a really good experience out of this. Now, if you're using for televisions, I'll probably get a subwoofer or if you're using for gaming, I'll probably would get a subwoofer. But if you're like me and you just listen to them to everyday music, I think you'll be fine. Now, one thing I do really like about these speakers is that you have that bass and treble control on the remote control, so you can fine tune it to just about any type of music that you like. I like the construction of the wood. I like the quality of the sound. And overall, I think it's a win-win. So if you're interested in learning more about these speakers, go to the link that I provided below in the description. Now, I will tell you, before you purchase anything, you should read other people's reviews and see if anybody had any problems with it. But so far, I think these are very solid speakers. I'm Tech Steve. Why don't you go and give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I'll catch you guys on the next video. Peace.